So, quick little tour. Here's all my dumbbells from fives all the way up. I think up to over 100 pounds here. I forget now, it's been a while. Bumper plates, not that I'm a crossfitter. A power rack, a little bit of a mirror just for some reference. Anyway, enough of that. I guess that's my weird sense of attempt to humor here. But anyway, here is the next vlog of my secret prep that I've been telling you guys about. So, let's see. Should I slide over a bit? That's better. Anyway, I wanted to give you some quick updates. I am down or hovering around about 186, 186, 886 and a half pounds. So I'm down like another two pounds, pound and a half, somewhere in there. Um, talk to my coach uh, about refeeds, where I'm currently standing, like what my body weight is and how I'm looking and conditioning wise and everything else. So today, which is Saturday, January 27th, we did a much larger refeed today. So usually I was doing 285 grams of carbs with 220 grams of protein, 55 grams of fat. Today we went up to 305 grams of carbs. Um, mainly for hormone purposes, I'm in a good spot. Um, also just because we want to give myself a nice little, uh, increase in muscle glycogen and keep my energy up and allow me to heal a little bit. Um, the one thing I'm noticing, at least on the latter half of this week, and I'm not saying it's, it's dietary related or to the cut in food, but the last two workout se sessions have pretty much been... <laughs> Um, I've pushed through them, I've still put up good numbers and everything, but I just mean in terms of speed of recovery between sets or feeling like my gas tank is fully there, uh, I felt really, really drained. Mo some of it's just not sleeping well. I woke up funny that day and my, my right shoulder was bothering me. Um, so I just think just lack of sleep and some other things kind of got to me. However, could be the caloric deficit, we're not exactly sure. Uh, so we're going to leave food for the rest of this upcoming week exactly the same, which will be 225 grams of carbs, 220 grams of protein, 55 grams of fat for my normal training days. Um, and depending on how my weight loss looks, uh, what other things we want to do, uh, we may even enter into doing two refeeds a week, uh, depending on what my conditioning looks like. So by next Saturday, which will now be into February, close to the Super Bowl, we're going to take um, some progress pictures. He's gotten some of what my upper body looks like. I'm very grainy um, and vascular. Let's see if you can kind of, I mean, I'm kind of softer now because of the carbs. Let's see if I can show you. You know, you can see the bicep split starting to come through, things like that. But uh, we're going to send pictures of my legs so we have a better idea of what my ideal stage weight is going to be. We think somewhere around 175, 176, but Next week should be a good measure um, once I send the progress pictures. Uh, in terms of everything else, I feel good. Um, just trying to stay healthy more than anything. Um, this whole idea of using the leg press, and I know I've said this before, before the squat, um, I was a little nervous about because I'm always big about doing the compound lifts first. And the reason why I'm big on the compound lifts first is as you get more fatigued, form starts to break down, which could lead to, you know, hurting your back, hurting your neck, um, you know, knee cave, something going wrong. Um, but being smart, paying attention to form, 
not ego lifting, things like that, I think have kept me safe. And it's taking uh, a lot less toll on my knees and my hips and my lower back than squatting used to do when I started with it as the primary motion. I am starting to know some glute development. Um, that is something we are focusing on. So I've been doing hip thrusters. It was a very weak movement for me, but as of today, I, I did 315 pounds for four sets of six, no problem. Um, that used to be a, a struggle of an exercise for me. Um, that's good. And really just focusing on more than anything, um, lifting as heavy as I can on every set to meet the rep ranges. Folk, I want to make sure I keep the strength. I am not going to do what I did the last time uh, and try to start lifting lighter and increase the rep ranges to protect myself because I know if I do that, a lot of the size I put on is not going to be there by stage day. Besides that, guys, I don't really have any other updates. I mean, this is not as exciting as everybody who wants to be or like intriguing. Um, it's pretty basic, just the caloric manipulation in training. There's nothing that's really changing. Um, the only thing I'm probably going to request to my coach is once this training block is over. I've only been deadlifting once a week. I would like to start lifting, uh, deadlifting at least twice a week. Deadlifting, I think, has done a lot to thicken up my back. And I kind of want to make sure that I continue to use that, even though I am putting in things like, you know, weighted, um, weighted pull-ups and, and other exercises that are great for the back. Uh, I really like deadlifting. I would like to maintain as much strength in the deadlift as I can. So that probably be the only thing I would change right now with my training instead of doing once, I'd do it twice, hitting legs twice a week, hitting upper twice a week. So I'm still training five days, but I'm using that frequency uh, that I've been preaching for the longest time. All right, guys, hope it's interesting. Obviously, you're going to find out all about this after the fact. So um, leave questions below because if I don't answer them in the videos or you have further vlogs you want me to do, I'll answer it at that time once I post these. And uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. All right, guys. Talk to you soon.